synchronicity. You know, I forgive all these people to take part in it. If I am right, they still have to answer up to the Most High. Does not matter. Not even a little bit. Oh, this is... There was no one in here when I was in there. It's funny because this house here, no one's supposed to be living in it. I've never seen anybody staying in it. I never saw. See, that window blind is down. It's not open anymore. Mail in the mailbox. <laughs> so to all the people who Either do not watch the videos, do not listen to the words, well, all I can say is, is, there's a saying, here today, gone tomorrow, or you're never guaranteed tomorrow. So, that being said, I would definitely turn and repent to see. Uh, police had to come here earlier. I had to call them for something, and I noticed. Down there. Right there. I don't know. When the law was here, just seemed like, I don't know. I mean, it, it, it just could be some really, really good timing, but it just seemed like people scattered like cockroaches with the light getting turned on. Now, the light or that window is right there. And it faces my seat right here. I'll keep saying that I forgive being tormented and everything else because I'm supposed to. And I've already asked for forgiveness for smoking this. Since that's a sin and most people don't know it.
So, all I can say is, is I've already said the Lord's prayers over and over. Like I've said almost every prayer, if not all the prayers. I mean, we got to be at least 97, 98% of them I've read out of the Bible that I was using. So if you can't come to terms with it, when you get to the place to be judged, if I were you, I would look up near-death experiences and people seeing hell because that's going to be your future. So, anybody that took part, you got to answer to the man that makes the sky blue. There's no, no two ways about it. See, you you can ask for repentance now before you die, but you can't ask to repent after you die. So if God calls your card at any point in time and you haven't repented and shown that you're trying to stay on that side. Well, to hell you go. So, Seemed like uh, I read my Bible earlier and it only took two hours for results. This car keeps riding past me, riding past me, riding past me. It's probably about the ninth time. But I was reading my Bible took them two hours for results I prayed I prayed I prayed two hours later I got my results so I prayed a little more Ask for forgiveness for smoking the cigarette. <clears throat> Since I really don't smoke anymore. And it's only when I get extremely stressed out. I really hate to know that so many do not seek the Lord Jesus Christ and you think that you're gonna live forever you don't think that you're judged at the end of this lifetime? Well, I, I mean, I would guess you're sadly mistaken. I, I mean, I really do.
repent, turn away. If I was able to quit smoking cannabis after 20 years, cigarettes after 15, 20 years, Well, you want to keep up with the gang stalking program? The hell you'll go with a hand basket. And every single solitary person that has helped you along the way. That you said, hey, can you give me a ride? Hey, can you do this? Hey, can you do that? That's one more soul you drug to hell with you. And it's not going to be like, you know, Club Med. We're not all perfect. But if you don't seek the Lord's forgiveness for your transgressions now, and you pass away in your sleep in a car accident, choke to death on your favorite hamburger, anything. I'm just telling you what what's going to happen. I just sat here. Hold on. I just sat here and read all these pages back here. But there's one one that I I, I kind of liked. Hold on. Says Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who hath given you good will to do these things, grant also unto you strength and power to perform the same, that he accomplishing you in the good work which he has begun, you may be found perfect and irreprehensible. Irre irreprehensible at a later day through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. But it says, Are you ready with all faithful diligence to banish and drive away from the church all erroneous and strange doctrine contrary to the Heavenly Father's word and both privately and openly to call upon and encourage others to do the same? I am ready with Jesus Christ being my helper. Will you deny all ungodliness and worldly lusts and live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world that you may show yourself in all things an example of good works unto others that the adversary may be not able to go after you. I will so with the Lord Jesus Christ being my helper. Will you maintain and set forward as much as shall lie in you quietness, love, peace among all men and diligently exercise such discipline as by the authority of Jesus Christ's word and by the order of this church is committed to you. I will do so by the help of Jesus Christ. Will you show yourself gentle and be merciful for Christ's sake?
to poor and needy people, and to all strangers destitute of thy help. I will show myself with Jesus Christ's help. Amen. Most merciful Father, send down, we beseech thee, upon thy servant, thy heavenly blessing, and so endue him with thy Holy Spirit, that he, preaching thy word, may not only be earnest to reprove, beseech, and rebuke with all patience and doctrine, but also may be to such as believe a wholesome example in word, in conversation, in love, in faith, in chastity, and in purity, that faithfully fulfilling his course, at the later day he may receive the crown of righteousness laid up by the Lord Jesus, the righteous judge who liveth and reigneth with thee, the same Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. The peace of God, which pass, which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and the love of God and His Son Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Well. God bless and have a nice day cause you're just not worth my time. I have better things to do. I got through to some people. But in the end, we all got to stand there and we all got to be judged. I read this whole book. This whole entire book I read. If you didn't take nothing from it, you deserve where you're going. I'm sorry, because I wouldn't want anybody to go to that place. If I were you, I would honestly look up near-death experiences going to hell. And even going to heaven because people have gone to both. Well, God bless. May you open your eyes. May you open your ears. And may you learn to think for yourself. And understand there's more to this world here than just what you see. So God bless and hopefully you don't get sent there and you get to go to heaven. But never know until that day arrives.